Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Down. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Wrapping up throat week. <laughs> <laughs> the throat, throat, the throat week. has gotten better over the week, TNT. Yo, what Barty part will we focus on next week? Uh-oh. Tune Toe in. time. Da, 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 da. No, don't give them too much. Yo. Yeah, yeah. spoiler alert. Show up. That's I guess that's not a spoiler. So, TNT, I've read... I, uh, I I don't I don't, like I, the car I have. I bought when it was brand new, but it's now old because I bought it years ago. Sure. Um, and my car does not have this feature, but newer cars, your car probably has a touch screen. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. And you know, and more and more cars are having more and more touch screens. Teslas have just like a giant like iPad yes. in the in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And. Uh, People kinda, out here are getting sick of it. Kind of hate it, yeah. People are getting sick of it. I read that the knob is making a comeback. The knob is making yeah, a comeback. Yeah, because people have started complaining that it's more distracting to screw around with a touch screen. You got to hit, hit like getting like six menus to do this thing, to do that. Yep. Where you used to just be able to grab the goddamn knob and turn it and the volume goes up. Like hit the button, it goes to the radio station, <sighs> whatever. People are revolting against the touchscreen in automobiles. Okay, I, I agree with this. I don't like the touchscreen in automobiles because it's just like another tactile thing when you should obviously be focusing on one tactile thing at that at that particular time. Yeah, I agree. But I do think that the video screen should remain. Do not give me like the 1990s like little meter that just has like red, yellow, and green lines to show me what my volume is at. I don't want that. Yeah. Oh, like well, it'll just it'll be like thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four. Like when you, so you yeah, can see that, like yeah, not yeah. like just like even like for like I don't know. I feel like the touch. If you just take the touch part out of it and give me like knobs that clearly do something, something just just like I don't know. It's just ah, you just move it and it moves the thing on the screen. You're I'm making fine very with that. wild jerking motions. I'm trying. I am making a <laughs> lot of move jerking. It, just, move it. Move it. Then I'm making this kind of motion and noise <laughs> at the same. I just farted a little bit. Okay. Anyway, but. I mean, what, do you, what I mean, I would, I like my car has knobs, and I'm very happy with all of them. Uh, I, mean, I mean, I have knobs. Yeah, I, I have knobs. I don't but, have, I don't have a touchscreen now. Gotcha, gotcha. I have knobs. I don't know if I would want a, a car that doesn't have knobs. Yeah, um, I, I think I would get used to it, but I, I can understand it being a little much for, uh, you know, like a teenager or something, or like even like you know, an old person easily distracted and give, gra- give grandma a. Uh, a knobless vehicle uh, yeah that would be she, yeah she she'd never make it out of the driveway how do you turn the music on oh my old people listen to music in the car i don't think so <laughs> people, yes people listen to music no old in, people oh uh yeah i don't think so what do you think old people listen to in the car alan jackson who i don't know who that is way down yonder on a chattahoochee Way down yonder on the chat, hoochie. It gets hotter than a hoochie coochie. So yeah, that guy. You, you think just all grandparents are just listening to that on repeat? Just, <laughs> yes, that's just it. shatter hoochie on right. repeat. All yeah. Right. All right. Well, at least you. you Tom. Know. Tom. Uh, Tom Collins. I don't know who that. I is. don't know who that is. Uh, no, Never not Tom. Uh, no, uh, Conway Twitty. Conway Twitty. I yeah. do know him. Yeah. I used to know a song. I don't know it Hello, anymore. Darlin. <laughs> Hello, nice. darling. Hello, darling. It's nice to see you. <laughs> that song. <laughs> I've heard him. <laughs> <laughs> <Just> lovely. <Yeah. laughs> it used to be on the infomercial Hello, all the time, dude. That's the only reason I knew about it. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking Conway Twitty, man. I used to have a Conway Twitty album. Really? Yeah. What, what were you jamming out the Twitty, the Twit? Well, I, you know, I used to work with uh I used to work for with elderly and with elderly individuals in my in my heyday and uh they would they would hit me onto like old songs. So like that's where I got. I mean, I, you know, I, I was always appreciative of that kind of stuff, but I would uh listen to some of the stuff that they like. So Frank Sinatra would come into play, and you know, Sammy Davis. Uh, no, nah, not really, not no. so much. You could really boy, boy, boy. He didn't sing, but what? Frank Sinatra. What? Who's the other guy? Dean Martin. Yes, yes. Yeah. Mambo Italiano, my man. New York, New York. 
That too. Good Got song. a little Tiffany in my life. Oh, it's, that's not the same song, right? Oh, it's not. No, oh, that's Mambo number five. <laughs> no, no, no. And I know you, you, you've you told before that your mother had a uh, a love of all different types of music. So you but were she never listened to, that to like, kind of the, that kind of stuff, though. But really? she listened to like, a range variety of like R&B and country and rock and like all. But none of like the, none of the oldies? The, not really, what no. Were you even call, what's that genre even called? Uh, Is that like the golden F-boy age? rock? No, not the stuff your mother listened to. <laughs> I'm talking about like Dean Martin and uh, the what's the other guy? Oh, I cannot think Frank of Frank Sinatra. Name. Him, yes. Yeah. That guy. The Rat Pack. No, that was the Rat Pack. Yeah, I don't know what that would be called. Uh, I don't know. It's like grandma stuff, dude. Yeah. At yeah. this point, it's only grandmas listening to that. But no one's to- listening. No one's just jamming out to New York, New York. Like if you, if I walk into somebody's house and they're playing like Frank Sinatra, I would be shocked. Brother, <laughs> when when your boy used to candy stripe, I used to I used to like sing uh, tie a yellow ribbon around the old oak tree. I used to know the words to that ish. Uh, what the hell is that? Tie a yellow ribbon around the old oak tree. It's been uh, I don't remember the stuff. What the fuck? It's is- an old song. It's an old people song. Oh, like the, the, most of the people who would appreciate that are probably passed away at this point. <laughs> wow, I'm just being Same, real, man. Dead people, ro- <laughs> dead people tunes out I'm here. I'm just being real. <laughs> like anyone who knows that song is dead. <laughs> They're for- definitely not listening to this. That's for sure. <laughs> they didn't find this on Spotify. That's for they were sure. like. You know what I'm going to listen to? This crazy town podcast. Oh, my God. They're talking about my cut. These two kooky kids came across my YouTube. <laughs> I got a got a reminder. God I mean, a, a poker, a notification on the Googs. <laughs> gave, me the, gave me the crazy town boys. Oh, boy. They're crazy, aren't they? <laughs> Oh my god, that's hilarious! But I'm really mad that I, I I caught myself going into Jonas voice. I did. I pulled. I pulled your bit. Did you? I well, did. well I did I don't know what you're talking about. Crazy I don't even kid. recognize this Jonas voice. Crazy kooky kids. Oh, what crazy. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> yeah, did. And I apologize for the joke. For all the, the viewers who've known me for all this time, I apologize for acting like that guy. Uh, I pro- no, I apologize for joke theft. I, joke theft. <laughs> it's cool. It is. You hate it. I'm you not Carlos Mencia or Joe Rogan or Amy the, Schumer. Yeah, or Bill Curry. Bill. No. Stephen Dane Curry? Cook. Oh, is Dane Cook a joke stealer? I don't know. I thought so. Isn't that what he like stopped He's being popular for? for? Didn't he stop being? Why did he stop being popular? Do you remember? Uh, I th- that was he, your homie. You was, loved him. What? <laughs> you would always. Be, you had a Dane Cook shirt. And okay. had, Excuse me. Wait underwear. A under a Dane Cook underwear. You had the, the Dane Cook the dentinans the underoos. The Dane Cook the dun the duns underoos. Because <laughs> you you look like. I think he was he a Me Too guy. No, I don't. I think don't so. know. I don't know. I don't, I don't think he got. Uh, I don't. I, he's he seems like a slime ball. So. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> He looks like, I don't know. I thought it was joke theft. Honestly, I thought he lost some credibility in a comedy. Carlos world. Mencia did, right? Yeah, I know he did. He's out here just taking taking uh, Bubba Sparks jokes. He's like, listen, me and Bubba I thought Sparks. it was him and Joe Rogan. There was like a compilation you can actually watch online where you can see like uh, the joke theft actually happen. Oh, yeah. I love those where they have like, here's mm-hmm. my joke. Here's Amy Schumer's joke. You make the decision. Oh, yeah. And, I've, and, I've and seen the like, Amy Schumer one oh, as well. Oh, that's a pretty... Pretty close. Yeah, it's like here. Here's the thing. Like I'm very, I'm interested in stand up. I like it. I would, I if I could figure out the writing style, I probably would try it. I'm just kind of mm-hmm. brighter blocked, whatever. Um, like I feel like it's been going on for so long that everyone's probably done your joke before in a different way. Yeah. Like how are you out here talking about? new stuff that no one's ever talked yeah, about nothing's original right but the but there's a difference between like oh i have a joke about raccoons and you have a joke about raccoons if like i like take the same format of your joke that is the theft right like it's like if you tell a very similar story like we can be a joking about the same thing in a different way yeah that that's the thing but if you're like let me tell you about a time i went to a picnic and i'm like hey guys this one time i went to a picnic like bro like you're it, you're stealing the joke it's- when, in the cases where the theft has been proven it is very clear 
Yeah, when you, it, when you put them side by side, the two acts. Yeah, you like, may oh, they may reword that. it a little bit, yeah. but it's pretty damn close. Yeah, it's like, like oh, you still it's like when the structure starts meeting up, the way the structure. Right. Yeah. Goes, if your joke so, is structured the same way, yeah. like we can get to the same punchline by two very different jokes. Yeah. But if your structure and your punchline is all the yeah, same, yeah, like you yeah. stole that joke. Yeah, like yeah. you can tell. But I think I think sometimes people hear a joke and don't even it doesn't even register that they've heard it, and then it pops in your head, right? Like. Yeah. I'm sure I've said things on this podcast that I've heard in a movie or heard some and like not even realize that that's where I'm like, Oh, I heard that somewhere. It's not like I'm trying to steal somebody's idea. Right. Like exactly. But you gotta think, theft, man. Is theft, I that's, guess that's somebody's job. And, and speaking of which, I just want to tell you that uh, Jonas and I both stand with the, uh, the writers, man. I hope you guys get everything you deserve. Yeah. And hopefully their throats are okay. <laughs> and that's all we have for throat week. Throat week. Twenty-seven lozenges down the throat. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. We out.